welcome to all in this video we are going to see uh, one philosophy called as strong column and weak beam in this video we are going to see the basic load transfer mechanism then what if columns are made weaker what if beams are weaker and what is the right choice and finally we are going to see the reason behind the philosophy okay so for a building to remain safe during earthquake shaking column which receive the force from beam has to be strong and foundation should be stronger than column okay this is the general load path okay so this is general the basic thing uh, next important thing is connection between beam column and column foundation should be strong to transfer the inertia force safely to the ground okay so this is the basic load transfer mechanism now uh, let's discuss if columns are made weaker okay what will happen uh, suppose if columns are made weaker they suffer severe sewer local damage especially at the joint of lower story okay so this damage can lead to collapse of building although the column at upper story are undamaged okay because of the columns at lower story get damaged entire building may collapse okay now let's see what if the beams are weaker if the beams are weaker and column are stronger then damage will first occur at beam okay but if the beam is ductile enough then there will be progressive damage this term is very important progressive okay so there will be large deformation due to ductile failure in building before collapse therefore uh, in an earthquake resistant building column should be strong and beam should be weak okay and that is it's better to make beam to be ductile weak link than column and this philosophy is known as strong column weak beam okay so our right choice will be strong column and weak beam weak beam in terms of ductile okay now there are many uh, reasons uh, behind this philosophy first one is the failure of column can affect the stability of whole building okay but the failure of beam cause localized effect uh, what i want to tell you here is that when one column fails suppose that column is interior column okay on which there are several beams are resting okay suppose one column fails it will automatically other beams will get fails okay that means there is a major uh, collapse but when a beam fails only that part of beam and the slab which is resting on it will fail entire building will not fail okay this is the first major reason behind the strong column weak beam philosophy second is in weak column structure plastic deformation is concentrated in a particular story only okay and relatively large ductility factor is required and the final reason is in both shear and flexor failure of column degradation are greater than those in the yield of beam okay so degradation is uh, greater in column as compared to yielding of beam so these are few reasons uh, behind the philosophy strong column weak beam okay thank you from real civil youtube channel